Located in the seaside town of La Ciota, the site of one of France's foremost shipbuilding yards, is the refit facility of Monaco Marine. The largest of six yards owned by the company along the French Riviera, Monaco Marine La Ciota specialises in the repair and refit of some of the world's most technically advanced superyachts. As any owner or captain will know, a successful refit at this level needs three key ingredients. The first is infrastructure. You need a yard that can safely lift out your yacht, plenty of hard standing to store it and cocoon it, and of course having a purpose-built workshop and paint shed nearby is a distinct advantage. Then you need a team of professional project managers that can steer each project through on time and on budget. And then you need the expertise, the craftsmen, the joiners, the engineers, all the people required to make the dream happen. And here are just some of the 200 full-time staff available because Monaco Marine has the infrastructure, the managers and the expertise in abundance. But what makes it unique is that it was quite literally built from scratch. With an investment of 25 million euros, a wasteland within the shipyard was converted over a period of five years to handle nothing but superyachts. And central to the operation is a signature paint shed. We were given a whistle-stop tour of the facility by Group Sales Director Vincent Laroc. And to really appreciate just what the yard has to offer, we first had to climb to the paint shed's roof. The 35 metre vertical ascent was worth every step, because the roof gives both an internal and an external panorama of the local geography and the facilities available to refitting yachts. These include the huge fully functional cranes, the ample deep water berthing, the 360 metre dry dock and the 2000 tonne capacity yacht lift. Monaco Marine's La Ciota facility is an area of outstanding natural beauty. As you can see behind me, we have the mountains and we have the island. It was therefore very important for this yard to be virtually pollution free. And being purpose built, they could build this system in from the ground up. Michel Ducro arrived in 2002 in La Ciota and uh, there was nothing at all. Uh, all the half standing here uh, was the sand. And uh, we built everything. We built, of course, the paint shed. We built uh, the yacht lift behind me. And uh, we built uh, the big platform, two meters uh, high of the concrete. And all the offices, uh, everything around uh, the yacht was built uh, between 2002 and 2005. Now, Monaco Marine are absolutely passionate about getting a flawless finish on every yacht they spray. And here is a typical sample panel. Now what happens is as the yacht is sprayed, this sample is also sprayed with the same paint at the same time in the same conditions on the same material. After the job is finished, this sheet is kept as a reference. Once safely back on earth, Vincent described the services available at each hard standing slot. As you can see, the yacht is connected for the fresh water, of course, for the seawater, for the climatization of the yacht, and the crew can stay on board uh, in the same conditions and in the water. Uh, of course, we have the discharge of the black water directly, directly to the city. And uh, when uh, we have to do the uh, HP wash for the anti footing everything goes there. And everything is straight. No pollution at all. Monaco Marine is able to undertake the most challenging of refits and repairs, such as this fire-damaged bridge. But not only are the yachts well looked after, so are the crew, with their very own yummy mummy on sight. Our tour of the yard has left us very impressed, so we asked Managing Director Eric Robert Pierlard what else set this yard apart. Today I see the yard as a reference, you know, as, as a, a number one, uh, especially as well, so a network is just not one yard, it's six yards in the Mediterranean, which is the only company to propose such a level of services. And uh, one of the other advantages of the place here is we also have a, a big dry dock, 360 meters, which allow us to say yes to any other customer uh, asking questions to us. The future is when uh, the yard will be uh, full during all the season and it's also uh, the development of the Monaco Marine Network. As I said, I mean, Antibes was the new yard last year. We did announce during the Monaco show 
uh, the building uh, of the new uh, facilities in La Seine and the future world development uh, will be definitely like uh, Italia or Spain and that's where we'll be close to the future. Yeah?